Have you subscribed yet? You better hit that button. <laughs> it right now. It right now. It right now. McDonald's steak bagel. Um, y'all don't talk about my pasta pans. Y'all know I have pasta pans that I absolutely love and I can't get rid of because they just they just work. Okay, I purchased new ones, but they just don't cook the same. So I'm gonna spray this a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of onion. Um, and saute some onion. So I'm going to try to just film this really quick and I'll show you guys how it turns out and all of that great stuff. So what I am using is Steakums and also which the nutrition facts, you have 100 um, calories and zero carbs. So y'all know that's what I look for. Those are the two main things that I look for. Oops, and I dropped the bread, but let me try to focus this. Okay. So that's the nutrition facts. So that's the meat that I'm going to be using. And I'm also going to be using the zero carb bagels, which I'm so excited about. They have 14 carbs and 14 calories. So you have zero net carbs. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I act like McDonald's steak bagel is like the only sandwich from McDonald's that I just absolutely love and I miss so much. I haven't had it in probably four to five plus years. Um, but I absolutely, because of the calories and the carbs, but I absolutely love that sandwich and I wanted to remake it. And since we have these zero carb bagels and steakums, I wanted to remake it and share it with you guys. And we're going to see how it's going to turn out. We're going to see how it's going to turn out. So I'm going to saute the onions and I'm going to get all the rest of my ingredients ready to go to make this Oh my God, steak bagel, I cannot wait. So while my onions are sauteing, I'm going to be using um, this real mayo, which has um, zero carbs and 100 calories per tablespoon, but I'm not going to use that much. I'm just gonna use a tad bit. Oh, it's not open, sorry. I just purchased this for this recipe, you guys. I'm not really a mayo eater. I know there's a lot of different substitutes for mayo, but I just wanted to go with the real thing. So, I'm just going to use about that much. And also, this recipe calls for dill mustard. And I Walmart sells it, but I would have had to order it online, and I didn't want to go through all of that. So, I'm just like, I'll just use some regular mustard. I convinced myself that I could just add like some dill pickle juice in there, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think that's the same thing. So I'm just like, okay, I'm not going to do that. So anyway, um, I'm going to add a good bit of mustard. I like mustard. Mustard has like no carbs. I'm for sure about it because I use it on all of my sandwiches all the time. All the time. It has zero carbs. So I am going to just kind of mix that together and that is going to be my spread that I'm going to put on my sandwich. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my um, steakums on here. Somehow I made a mistake and pulled out um, one and a half. So I guess that would be about, what, 150 calories. But one should work. I 
I'm going to add a little bit of Tony's. Okay, that's pretty much done. So I'm going to take this off the heat and I'm going to cook an egg to make an egg here. I'm going to go ahead and toast my bagel. Okay, let's get started. Let's play this thing. I'm so excited. I am so excited to try this. So, here's our bagel. And here's our little mustard mixture. Let me... get as much off as possible. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm doing the most with this. Let me just use my finger. Okay, I'm eating it. It's my finger. It's clean. Okay. So, you guys, this turned out absolutely amazing. It is an awesome dupe for a McDonald's steak bagel but I would suggest adding a little bit more of your mustard and mayo mixture and also on this one I forgot to add cheese I redid this recipe the following day for dinner and I added cheese and it was amazing and um, in the calorie and the carb count I added the cheese in there also the only carbs that I found was carbs that come from maybe the onion and maybe the cheese um, but yeah, so if you don't eat the onion, then you're probably going to get like zero to one carbs. Sorry, my counter is clean. I sanitized. I sanitized, okay? And let's taste this, this awesomeness. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness, so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. Okay, this is so, so good. So I would say the only thing that I would change is I would add a little bit more mayo and a little bit more mustard. And to make, you know, just to bring out that flavor a little bit, that's about it. Other than that, everything is seasoned good and it all tastes so very good. And it doesn't taste exactly like McDonald's, but this is an amazing substitute. Especially with the calories and the carbs versus McDonald's calories and the carbs. I can go for this, yes. Mm. McDonald's steak bagel is mm. going to run you about 640 yeah. calories and 54 carbs. Where this one, if you use the one um, steakums, mm. it'll run you about 400 calories and 0 to 5 mm. carbs. That's based on if you oh. use onion and cheese. So I hope you guys try this. Another low carb meal that I think will help you guys stick to your journeys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Love you guys. Peace and blessings.